Would you take a ride in Tesla's new robo taxi? So I hope this goes well. Elon Musk has been promising this for years, while other companies already have robo taxis on the road. In the US, Waymo is leading the charge, with over 100,000 paid rides each week. Amazon is also gearing up to launch its own fleet soon. In China, Beidou has rolled out commercial robo taxis too. But outside the US and China, robo taxis are still rare. Take India, for example. It's a global tech hub and one of the world's largest car markets. But there are big challenges for self driving cars. Why? The roads are chaotic, with few signs or traffic lights. Basically, no standardized infrastructure. For an AI, that's a nightmare. Plus, there's a ton of vehicles and pedestrians that would overwhelm the system. And this isn't just an issue in India. Many other regions, like Latin America, face similar problems. And in Europe, strict regulations often keep robo taxis off the roads altogether. Even in the US, where robo taxis are gaining ground, many people are wary. Two thirds of Americans say they wouldn't ride in one if they could. That's according to a Pew Research survey. People really do not like these things. No to robo taxis. So much so that there have been cases of robo taxis being vandalized or even set on fire. Why the resistance? For one, people are worried about safety. We all remember those headlines about robo taxi accidents. To ease concerns, Waymo launched a safety hub and shared data showing their cars are supposedly safer than human driven vehicles. But risks still exist. One recent incident went viral. A woman was in a Waymo when two men jumped in front of it, harassed her, and blocked the car. Get out of the way! Move! They eventually gave up, but it highlights vulnerabilities. And it's not just about safety. Human taxi drivers are worried too. They see robo taxis as a threat to their jobs. Robo taxis could be cheaper for riders, making them a serious competitor to traditional drivers. So, what needs to happen before robo taxis go mainstream? Number one, better infrastructure. Cities need to invest in tech friendly infrastructure like smart signals, dedicated lanes, and clear road markings for robo taxis to navigate. Number two, public trust. People would need to trust these cars in order for them to be used widely. Transparent communication, safety demonstrations, and successful pilot programs might help. Number three, addressing legal and ethical issues. Clear guidelines are needed for companies operating robo taxis. This includes liability, data privacy, privacy, and ethical concerns like job loss for human drivers. In theory, robo taxis could make roads safer by reducing human error. They could also ease traffic through smarter route planning. But when I look at this video of Waymo's honking at each other, I'm not so sure. So what do you think? Would you hop into a robo taxi if one was available? Let us know in the comments. See you next time.